When I first started photographing rubbish on the beach and I showed people the images just of rubbish that was piled up on the beach, people weren't really interested. They just looked at it and their, their attention span was very short. So I had to try and think of a way of kind of encapturing people that, to linger and think about the images. I'm Mandy Barker, a photographic artist from the UK. I photograph marine plastic debris with the aim of giving an awareness of pollution and marine plastic around the world. I've always been interested in photography right throughout my life. Everything started as a, when I was a child. I used to walk the beaches and collect natural objects. And as time went on, I began to notice that more sort of man-made debris was appearing on the beach. So I wanted to let other people know what was happening. Soup is actually a description given to the suspension of plastics in the ocean. I was introduced by Tracy from Plastic Free Seas. We both sailed across the North Pacific on a voyage. The trip itself was very rough initially. Never been on a yacht before or any type of a boat. The trawls that we did right across the Pacific were really shocking. These were surface trawls, nothing deeper, just taken from the surface. They were full of plastic, plastic nurdles, plastic pieces. In terms of what's here in Hong Kong, bottles and bottle tops, polystyrene, lighters, cotton buds, knives and forks, so a lot of single-use things, toys, household objects, and a big amount of fishing-related debris. The list goes on. My inspiration comes from lots of different sources. It can be something somebody said, it can be an object I found, it can be the shape of debris on a beach, the way that the debris is sort of formed on the shoreline, it can be anything. For instance, the lighters image was based on a lighter I found with a dolphin on it. So that gave me the idea of representing the lighters in the form of a dolphin pod and also based on the direction of waste and how it flows in the sea. So all these kind of ideas, I write them down and I revisit them and they kind of make me come up with the composition that relates to what I found. The lotus flower image is a small collection of plastic flowers I found in the sea. It's a national emblem of beauty here in Hong Kong and it has connotations. I've mixed it with lots of different flowers. I wanted to create the feeling that there are different flowering times and these necessarily wouldn't all be together in nature. Photography is not what we see, it's what we make others see. The photographs I take and the photographs I make aren't for me, they're for others to see and others to realise what's going on. And I think photography is a really powerful form of communication and if it can go on to spread awareness of social issues and environmental concerns, this has got to be a good thing for the planet. I'm committed to photographing plastic waste for the foreseeable future. I'll never run out of things to photograph because obviously they're there for hundreds of years. They don't keep decomposed for many, many years. Plastic packaging is a cheap way to produce something and that's why manufacturers are doing it. The government has to intervene and try and stop it at source. I am optimistic because I think more and more people are becoming aware and people are taking notice. I hope that through government initiatives and more awareness, you know, things will start to happen. I think it's all about trying to do things in small changes, small habits. If everybody made a simple change, it would make a massive difference.